Hello, Konnichiwa. Howdy. <laughs> What's up, guys? How we doing? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. Pretty chill. Um, so I have a new little mini series that I've been been dying to get to, and I haven't had the time because I was in Washington working over there, dealing with work over there, and bunch of other random crap if you want to check that out go on my uh, instagram and you guys can like learn and see what's going on um yeah so the new mini series i have is adventure gear time adventure time gear review part one and today we're going to be reviewing the lovely opticsplanet.com gear that i bought from optics planet about let's say maybe three four months ago it's been a while i've been meaning to do this for a long time <laughs> it was literally sitting and collecting dust at my apartment in washington and um yeah i don't know it took me so long but uh i got two items that i ordered um i don't know what it is about this number three <laughs> number three is like everywhere and i need a barber right now i it's bad i'm gonna grab something real quick okay there you go yeah. okay so can we check it out we're gonna um go and grab the knife right now now that we got my hair all situated my fro does not like to play with nice my fro does not like to play nice at all so i'm gonna go grab the knife we got that fixed oh yeah oh yeah okay <laughs> just between me and you guys dude you guys gotta look at my butt in these pants dude my butt looks really good like, like normally my butt looks really flat, but I don't know what I've been doing. It just like, <laughs> I don't know. I barely started working out again and I'm like out of shape, dude. Like, oh man, I'm not, not totally out of shape, but like, it's a little hard to run. So, um, yeah. Opening up the opticsplanet.com products that I ordered. I slightly don't remember what I ordered exactly. I have a idea of what I've ordered. I just don't remember exactly what it was. Eef. Gotta sharpen my knife. Okay. Oh, I, I think I should say that it came in a very, very reasonably time frame and manner. I ordered it, I want to say on like a quick whim of a weekend. It was like a Saturday or a Friday, maybe. And I got it the following week. Like, no joke. So it was probably only like seven, maybe five, day, five seven days that I waited. That's not bad, considering it's the corona times that we're living through. And everything is... Going to hell, thankfully. Um, oh, okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. You've got the nice little, uh, oh yeah. You know what I want to do, guys. Yeah, yeah, you want to hear? Oh, uh, oh, it didn't pop. It didn't pop, guys. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, there you go. No! <laughs> okay. Let's check it out. Let's check it out, baby. Sweet. Sweet, dude. Okay, I'm probably doing it. So these are Pyramex performance. There's butchered that. 
Pyramex, perform at your peak, I-Force, uh, sand goggles. I want to say they're sand goggles. We'll call them sand goggles. Basically, I got them from when I was working at this demolition job. I thought I was going to be there for a while uh, until I had a <laughs> dispute with one of the overheads. And, um, yeah, so anyways, that's all them. But I got, I'm glad I got these guys still, though, because, like, I do love to be outside and, like, running and sh running is, like, a pastime of mine. So, um, I feel like with these little guys, because when I had bought it, it said anti-fog. And one thing I began to realize when you're working out, if you want glasses to wear, you're going to need to find something that's an anti-fog material. And my main reason for getting these Pyramex perform at your peak eye force goggles was because they're water well, sweat proof and waterproof i guess you would say so um i'm gonna test them out and we'll do some testing out tomorrow when i get to the uh, the park and i'm gonna do a couple laps and kind of see what you know see where my body's at physically with the health and whatnot and Check out and see if these guys do not fog up. I hope they don't fog up. I mean, they're pretty pricey. They're like 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. Uh, you know, not cheap. Not that cheap, but, you know, we'll see. Well, I should. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is me always procrastinating, but I wanted to do it correctly in my new office. You can tell, guys, the new office is a lot more cooler, chiller. It's not my bedroom, it's actually an office. Uh, oof, that's all my. Anyways. <laughs> I should have used this, or well, I should have opened it back in freaking, when I got it. They they gave me a $15 coupon, $15 off my next purchase of 150 or more, which is not bad, dude. You know, the gear that they have and the gear that I seen online, it's amazing. They got some good stuff, so um, yeah, can't wait to check it out. Alrighty, guys. Well, on to the next um, product from Optics Planet opening, or Optics Planet uh gear and equipment is the elite survival systems tactical light holster it comes with a padded 1000 denier nylon construction with hard shell body waterproof treated dual thigh straps with quick release buckles adjustable magazine pouch and dual security retention straps additional removable retention strap fits glock Six hour Springfield Armory XD four inch Torres 24 7 FNP9 Smith and Wesson 99 Sigma Tactical Series Beretta PX4 Storm Most 4 4 by 5 large frame autos fits with or without most under barrel lights. So this is gonna be cool. Um, I can't wait to check these both out, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are bored. This is a first for me, so let's check out this uh, goggles, yeah? Hmm. Okay, so the Pyramex Performance iForce comes with a cool... Oh, I see. These are extra little straps. Just in case these straps go bad or disappear, I'm guessing. Which is really cool. I dig it, guys. I totally dig it. Huh. Okay. Hello. Konnichiwa. <laughs> I am an alien. Come to eat your brain and your soul. 
<laughs> uh, don't mind me. And lo low key, guys, I've actually been dreading this. So I'm sorry if you don't like this first one. I I'm doing it as an experiment. You know me. I always have to like try something and see if I like it. Um, so this is cool. This is really freaking cool. I'm not going to lie. I've never seen goggles come pre-treated with a protective covering for the goggles. Cause this is very important. Having your goggles like in good condition. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to have to find some kind of, I'm going to have to buy a new case. Ah, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I like these. Yeah. They snip on pretty nice, too, in the back. It's a nice little clip-on. Um, the goggles are amazing. They're actually really comfortable. Surprisingly, I've worn goggles like these before, but um, they have a padding on the inside, and it feels really, really comfortable. I've worn so many where the inside is just plastic and the plastic just rubs on your skin and you know, it just doesn't feel good. So it, it annoys you. Uh, I really like these guys. I'm not going to lie. These, uh, Pyramex perform at your peak. I force the H two X anti fog technology. Yeah. You know what Pyramex? I think you guys have outdone yourselves with these glasses. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of fairly impressed. And the fact that you guys threw in extra straps that are long. So what I'm getting at is this must be for like somebody with like a short neck, or if they like it short. And these extensors, extenders, extensors, what is that? What am I speaking? <laughs> is that even an American bro? Come on, bro. You're American. Speak English, kid. Um what do they call these again? These extenders. All right, so these extenders, I'm guessing, are, are if you want to hang it down like, you know, your Jesus piece. All righty. Well, that was cool. Um, <laughs> ah, let's check this out. The Elite Tactical Thigh Holster. Left hand. Ah. 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 Come to daddy, daddy likey. Okay, I, did I show you guys the box? Oh, I should show you the bag, I'm sorry. Elite Tactical Light Holster. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna find out, I have a theme. I like FDE, Flat Dark Earth. There's something about tan, it just looks really good on me. I used to wear a lot of black. So like, this, it feels good to mix it up. Even if I only wear tan. So yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. This looks like it's really well constructed. No joke. Um, this appears to be a belt of sorts. Let's see. Huh. So I made this for the left hand because um, I'm left-handed. Okay. Digging it. Hmm. That's what I, f so I ordered a tactical belt with it also. And um, I don't think they said, that's what I did. They, they sent the tactical belt, but well, they didn't send the tactical belt. They sent these two products. And I'm like, what the flip? Like y'all should just, I, I, I wouldn't have mine waiting 
for the, the product to have came. So I will say that about the Optics Planet. Y'all are a little grimy for that. Y'all should have just sent me something else instead of giving me uh, half of what I wanted. But nonetheless, I will say the materials that I've gotten so far and I'm playing with, they seem to be of tremendous uh, quality. Cannot say that they're bad quality yet. Everything seems to be going good so far. And the goggles, like, I'm surprised I'm actually able to really, like, focus. There's not too much um, blockage in my peripherals. I mean, of course, my hat, but, you know, it's my hat. Fucking cool, bro. Pokemon. Gotta catch him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hold on. I'm fixing this really. But, yeah, so um, I will say uh, a little disappointed that I did not get the belt from them. Uh I placed the order like almost immediately, so I don't get why it, that didn't come in. But whatevs. Let's get this belt going so we can try it on. And if I remember correctly, the belt was not too expensive. I remember it being like 40, maybe 50 bucks. And considering that it comes with a mag pouch, you cannot complain about that. Like that's actually a really good deal. Um, I like to be tactical, as in, like, I like to carry a lot of crap, my, uh, crap for just in case if shit ever goes down, which it never does, but, I'm, you know, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm, mm-mm, nah, you don't, you get it, no? You'll put it together later. Okay. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> Bad part is I, I wore my belt. Oh, I don't normally wear it today. I gotta... Wee! Okay. It's not running too long. I, I wanted to keep these brief for you guys. That way you guys didn't have to sit through, like, Boring crap for like 50 minutes, but kind of mucked that up, I guess you would say. Come on, baby cakes. <sighs> oh, hold on, guys. My apologies. Like I said, I should have done this months ago. I'm probably not even going to be able to get a return on this crap. Because I don't think it fits me. It's actually, it's actually a little too big. Maybe. We'll see in here in a second. Oh, da, 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 da. Almost done. Because I'm fast. Kind of. That's what she said. You're fast. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Okay.
Yeah. I should have brought this back months ago, dude. The hell was I thinking? Dude, I'm having like the hardest freaking time trying to adjust this. Like this elite tactical system holster. It's actually pretty freaking difficult to set up. Like the, the cords are very, um, they're very stiff and they're bulky for the heck. Like what I'm trying to do, like it should be easy to adjust. You know what I mean? It's not easy. It's like... Like, come on, get out of here. Get out of here, dude, like seriously. Okay, I'm getting somewhere on some of it. Holy cow, I'm sorry that took so long, guys. Like, I'm, you know, you're probably, like, going to be like, yo, what the flip, Chris? Like, what are you doing, man? Quit beating yourself up. <laughs> Whatever you're doing down there. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so I got, I got half of it set up. Like I said, guys, terribly sorry. This is the first time I've ever um, did a live stream product review. I'm actually a little disappointed in this company. I mean, I, I mean, I guess uh, I'm just probably being <laughs> dude. If it's this difficult to fucking set up, like, yeah, no. Oopsie, I cussed. My bad.
<sighs> Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing good. Struggling a little bit, but I'm doing good. Um, but the Elite Survival Systems Tactical Light Holster 7676TLH has to be one of the toughest rigs to set up I've ever reviewed or set up before. Not reviewed, but used before. It's actually a little fucking freaking difficult, guys. It's like making me almost cuss. There we go, getting somewhere again. I'm almost there, guys. Almost. Okay, <laughs> I'm back, guys. Dude, that was a hassle. I'm not even gonna lie, that was a bit of a hassle. Like, I mean, it's probably a good idea that it's so rigid and stiff to begin with. I mean, you wouldn't want a very flimsy, you know, gun holster. You, you would not want to trust your life with that. Trust me. Uh, um. Yeah, but um, we got my baby right here. Her name is Dixie. Dixie is empty. We'll do a mag check or whatever. Blah blah. blah. Empty. 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 Okay, because people like to bitch. Oh, you got a loading gun. Blah, blah. No, it's empty. Okay. So, I have the rig set up about as high as I can get it, which is a little infuriating. I thought it would be a little more, um, 
You know, I thought it would just fit a little more right, and I thought it would feel just right. It doesn't feel right. And the way it locks on the top, it just, I just don't see how they thought that would a, that would be a logical, um, logical, like the way this is set up, dude, this is not, uh, like I'm ambidextrous. This is not my first initial reaction is to go click. Like it would have been nicer if they had this. I'm not sure if you can see it right here on the holster. Here's the holster. Here's the magazine pouch. This is the magazine pouch. I have a Glock 19X, fully loaded mag. It fits. Fits like a charm, guys. Check that out. So yeah, I dig it, guys. I'm liking it. It is a pain in the butt to set up. Um, let me see if I... Yeah. I don't know, guys. I like it, but then I like at the same time, I do not want to like it, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to put my gun in there now. And I'm hoping... And it's nice and delicate to my gun. Because uh, I bought a Kydex holster about four or five months ago. And um, yeah, my gun did not like it. Like it, my gun just didn't fit in it. Yeah, I can tell I'm probably going to try to return this if I can, guys. I'm not a big fan of it. The Pyrex glasses, though, those things are cool, man. I will say those are probably, like, the coolest thing I've seen in a little bit, in a little while. Because it's just, the way they look is just ergonomical, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a no-go, guys. This Elite Tactical System holster is hot garbage in my book. Um, like, the holster for the drop part, it's, like, ridiculously high up. And it just doesn't lock in the way I would love it for it to lock. Like, it's just... It's not a drop link holster I would recommend. I've seen ones with much easier, you know, ways to set up. And this is just, you know, it's just very extremely difficult to set up. But once it's set up, it's good to go. But yeah, not my cup of tea, guys. So unfortunately, I must say, I'm not a big fan of the Elite Survival Systems Tactical Light Holster. I was hoping for it to be a bit more of a reliable, durable holster, but it's hot garbage. I hate to even admit it. I'm sorry, guys. I just got to tell you the truth. It's an honest review, okay? All I do is honest reviews. 
Um, so I'm going to remove my gun from the hot garbage without trying to scrape my gun. <laughs> I really love my gun, guys. I want to do a product review on this, but on a much later date. Um, it's a fucking beautiful gun, dude. Glock 19X. Glock, yeah, did you guys sell us with the 19X and the 45? I, I am a big fan of the full frame with the 19 slide. The 17 frame with the 19 slide. It was a very well thought out idea, Glock. Well, guys, this was the first ever product review of uh, gear for, for what I thought was cool and was actually very disappointed in now. Very disappointed. Thought this thing was going to be like the creme de la creme of extra like magazine supports. You know, it could even support a light for there. I was like, what? A light? Cool. But it's hot garbage, guys. Hot garbage. Um, I mean, this is going to be a hard pass. Uh, sorry to tell you guys at Elite Survival Systems, but you guys should just, um, like, like, what the, like, it's not even connected, guys. Like, look at this. They're not even connect. like, what the, f you know what I mean? Like, it, this is not even connected. So, I'm going to have to call... Uh, I'll take my magazine out. <laughs> okay. But yeah. I'm going to just uh, t call the number tomorrow, see if I can return it, because um, this was hot garbage. Fortunately, I was able to see that before I made the mistake of actually purposefully buying it. Yeah, just, just the way this one's set up, guys. It's not for me. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first ever product review i'm sorry dudes i'm so sorry it went on way longer than it was supposed to um it's just not the holster for me this is probably for somebody else somebody this will probably fit somebody else taller i'm already tall as it is but dude, like you guys made this super super difficult to like go down on <laughs> no pun intended but seriously, this is like ridiculously hard to like to go down. Like, come on, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on, guys. Let's check this out real quick. One more time. Because I finally got this adjusted. To where I need it to, to be adjusted, too. Sorry, it took so long, guys. Like, jeez, man. This thing, I'm telling you. Like, I, I mean, I'm not going to keep this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this review because I wanted to do this review for a long time. But um, I'm going to definitely return this holster, dude. Dudes. Like, this holster is... Uh, I feel like this is something I would not want to trust my life with. Unless I direly needed to trust my life with it. I would trust my life with it. But I'm not in that kind of situation yet. We're not... world hasn't ended yet. But... <sighs> shit.
I'm so sorry, guys. Like, it's literally giving me crap. And I'm, like, trying so hard to, like, be nice to it without breaking it. Because I'm going to return it. Getting there. Getting there. All right. I farted. You gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta do what you gotta do. empty I just don't like how it's padded inside I don't want to put my gun in there I don't want to put my gun in there guys like I don't like the way it feels I don't like the way it looks I don't know, guys. I'll wear it around the house for a week. I finally got it set up. It took fucking freaking 30, 45 minutes. No, probably like 30 minutes just to get this thing properly dressed and corrected. I finally got it adjusted to where I feel like it would be comfortable. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, so I finally have it all set up. Here's what the end result of the vertical elite vertical systems elite tactical holster. Now, like I said, it has three safety measures. This guy's just way too long. Like, like I don't I'm not sure if they intend for you to cut it. I would. But like I said, I don't know if they're intending for you to cut it. Because it's a little it's a little complicated, you know what I mean? It's a little complicated. And um, this actually feels really well. When you got this set up how you want it, just to where it feels like it's not going to bleed your leg dry, you know what I mean? And I feel like I can move in it. You know what I mean? I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. 
Who would like to move it? <laughs> Boo! Okay. But yeah. So far, it's been 30 minutes since I've had this out. Not the biggest fan of it now. Reason being is these are very difficult to adjust. The safety on this is one, two, three. That's just... That's just obscene. Like, obscenely too long, in my opinion. So, I don't know, guys. I'm going to see about getting this returned tomorrow. Like I said, it's not. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's, uh... It was actually a little bit difficult to get together, like I said, guys. Like, I've dealt with little ones like this before, but not this difficult. Like, unnecessarily difficult. And my after was going all over the place. There we go. Okay. Hope you guys are doing good. Thanks for sticking around as long as you guys have. If you guys are watching this, whoever's watching this, whoever ends up watching this, I hope you guys like the gear. Um, you know, I'm going to call Optics Planet tomorrow. I can just see it right here in the box. They have a receipt for the iForce and then the uh, Elite Survival System. Um, I would like to return one of them. And if they allow me to, I'm going to do it, dude. Because, uh, the yeah, Elite Survival Systems, you, like, Elite Survival Systems, you have an excellent idea. It's just the execution was a little sloppy. These, you know, this is a little too long for a grown-ass adult. Like, this is just too much play. And then this, like, why is there three? Like, why is it not connected together? You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I just don't feel like, like, if I was in the, the heat of a moment in a battle, this would be cumbersome and in the way. You guys see that? Like, I don't get what that's for. Maybe that's like a third break stop in a way. But you already have a break stopper. Like, right here. Which goes over. You know what I mean? It goes over it. It's like, this is just ridiculous. Why would you... Yeah. It makes no sense to me, guys. I'm going to... Um... Call Optics Plan tomorrow. See what we can do about getting uh, money back or doing something else, getting something else. If they say no, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to try to figure out how to come it, cut it down and trim it down and make it to where it feels comfortable wearing it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I like my Glock too much. I would, ne <laughs> I would never put my Glock in this. Like, this is like, yeah. This is a uh, no Glock um, 19X magazine and gun holster for me, at least. Um, if they figured out how to make it less cumbersome in this area, then I'll give it higher mark remarks and whatnot. But other than that, I just feel like that's way too tacky. Especially for this supposedly being tactical elite gear. This is just... What? One, two? That's just... No, guys. Come on. Come on. And then this... Yeah. Not my favorite holster I've ever used. So, sorry guys if I seem to be rambling. 
it just it took forever to get this elite systems tactical holster put together. I'm gonna um, call Optics Planet tomorrow and see about getting a return or trading it. Uh, we will see what's up with that. Um, I will say I was a huge fan of the Pyramex I Force uh, H2X anti fog technology glasses. Those blew my expectations out of the air. I've worn a lot of those shades, like I said, through different various work sites. And the majority of the time you get one that are very uncomfortable. They have uh, no padding inside of them and they get foggy. These are apparently have anti-fog technology and, and they clip together. Look at that. They clip together, so you can put it around your neck. And if you feel like it's too short, they got extenders for your shades. So I highly recommend Pyramex iForce shades. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I recommend them. These are tremendously well-crafted shades. I'm gonna have to take them out time uh, outside sometime in a sandstorm or something. <laughs> we'll see what kind of trouble I get into. Not trouble, but what kind, of, what kind of cool stuff I can figure out out in Montana. Glad to be back home. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, make sure you guys read your Bibles. And uh, yeah, God bless, guys. Sorry this took forever. It's like 53 minutes now. Jeez, man. I'm sorry, guys. But Elite Tactical Systems. You guys have a great product. That could be better. And I'm interested in seeing what you guys go with this uh, system in the future. Maybe you guys make some adjustments to it. Maybe not. You make adjustments to it. You guys might see people's money more often. You keep it as it is. I'm not sure if anybody's going to want to keep buying elite system, tactical survival systems. Just saying, guys. That was very, very, very frustrating to get together. Alrighty, guys. Well, this has been the first ever. So I gotta fix my hair. I gotta get a barber over here in Montana. But this has been the first ever, 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 uh, you know, product review. Um, I got an idea of where I'm going with it, which route I'm taking. Uh, <sighs> I like it. This is something fun. This was something new, something out of my comfort. I should have done this months ago, dude. That holster was so annoying to put together. And I had a $15 gift card I could have liked. You know what I mean? Yeah. I messed up right there. Um, I will definitely open the box is more sooner than later. That was totally my fault. And uh, yeah, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the 55, 56 minute long video. Terribly sorry. But at least you guys are getting an idea of where I'm going with the YouTube channel in case you were wondering. I did not forget about it. I've just been very busy. Um, I'll go into more depth with like a vlog, a vlogging series of like what goes on in my life and whatnot. It's very juicy, dude. My life is very, very not normal. <laughs> like I thought it was normal. It's not normal. Um, but what is normal? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, I just want to say this moment. I just want to take this moment to say a small little prayer. I just need some water, too. One second. Okay. Please, Lord, bless whoever watches this video. Let them walk with you and learn your ways. If they're lost, Give them the strength and the knowledge to continue and to learn of you and your ways. Thank you, Father. Thank you for watching over us and guiding us in what we need and where we need to go. And just being overall awesome dude. Like, life's a trip. Man. Thank you, God. Thank you guys for <laughs> sticking around and enjoying my lovely, crazy life. And I, I know this was a little long. I'm going to make sure the other ones are a lot shorter. This was this was just my fault. I did not mean for this to go as long as it did. Um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed it, though. I sincerely hope you guys have a tremendous night. Make sure you guys get your guys good food inside your tum tum. Okay. God bless. And remember, don't forget to read your Bibles. Not joking. Peace. Calabunga. Okay. How do I do this? Okay. Yes. And.